Hello everyone, my name is Om Sagasal. Do you know one expression? Time flies when you're having fun? This is exactly what I'm talking about in this video. This is Java Programming for Android 2017. I will teach you a simple game with numbers. So let's take a look at a game. Okay, let's see a demo here. So for example, you give a question 22. So the player will be expected to enter number 22 here. Check, correct. If it is wrong, so it is wrong like this. So, so it's very simple, but I think it will be fun for you to make a simple game like this. Okay, so let's create a new project here. So new. And let me call it number game one. And then we just use the default list and just this one. Make sure you use this one. If you turn it off, then you don't have any constraint attached to this. And then you need a, um, let me grab it. And then you need a, a number. This is the question, right? So the number is in this box. So make sure you use number. If you use plain text, the, key, the keyboard is not uh, like this. You have a lot of uh, letters, you know, A, B, C, that over there. So use the number here. This one. Okay, now you would see some of the, uh, the element has no constraint. So just click on this one. See that? So they have a nice constraint. Okay, so let's test it. That's very good now. Let's go. And then you need an ID, right? So click on this one and change to the proper ID. So this one I will call TV question. And when you see this uh, message, you have, is it, uh, this message is very important. You have to check this and you have to click yes. It means that this um, ID will be uh, unique for each uh, activity. In the early version of Android, you would have a problem when you have two uh, ID from different uh, activities with the same name. For example, in this activity, TV question, but in another activity, in another layout, you would have another TV question. Then it will have a conflict. Okay? So if you check this and click yes, there will be no more conflict for that. So this one will be used in this particular activity okay and if you have another TV question no problem okay so you must check this and click yes this is the most important thing and now this one ET answer and this one uh, Okay, and this one, okay, this one will be resolved. Um,
here you can write the code first you have to grab all the um, you know ID from the UI from the XML here so usually I declare the variable outside because you can use it in another method very easily so text view TV question TV result Here, you need a method called find you by ID. We learned that in another video already. So, and then TV question equal, and you need to type. Okay, now you set the text here. Let's say you want to uh, set number, let's say 22. Okay, and then you expect people to type number 22 there and you compare it. Okay, so to check that, you have to uh, give the even handler here to the BTN check. So be to uncheck, set on click listener, and you have three options to do that. But uh, I will talk about this in another video. But for now, I just uh, focus on this game. So uh, type new and space and the control space. Then you will see the first option here is the uh, method for you to have um, you know like um, a handler. Okay, the listener is over here so when you click then you can uh, have any action inside here so our action is to compare the answer is number 22 or not but now the ET answer is not um, string yet so we have to declare string answer ET answer get text and to string okay and then you have to compare it and in Android, um, because they use Java, so Java can have, cannot uh, compare string with a two equal sign like that. So you have to use a method equal equals, actually. and then number twenty-two. Now, if it is correct, then to resolve the text. Okay, now we want, we got one problem here. Okay, so let's check what is the problem here. So it's about constraints. So uh, let me turn it off again. Turn it off. This one too. Turn it off. Now, if you turn it off like that, it's very easy to to make a constraint like that. Okay, now it's better. Okay, so this I uh, have to fix that. Turn it off and then click on the infer constraint. Okay, so now you expect people to type 22. Let's say 22. 22. Check. Okay, let's say you type another number. Now it is wrong. Okay, so it is very simple, um, but you can see one problem here. The question is very static and only one question.
so we will make a lot of questions in the future actually in the next video and then we, we will have a, an answer for each question also and the question has to be random right for example like the first time you play a game maybe uh, 5, 7, 22 but then the next time you start from um, 12, you know, 13, like that. So the number would change randomly, so it will make more fun. So I stop this video for at this part because um, we will focus on the complexing in the next video. So I hope you like it. Thank you for watching. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, give a thumbs up to this video. Thank you, and I